in my previous video I proved the compound angle formulas for cos alpha uh, and uh, cos alpha plus beta and cos alpha minus beta so I'll go over the proof uh, briefly we proved that uh, using the distance formula and uh, the cosine rule uh, using the distance formula we could say p1 p2 squared is uh, the difference between the x coordinate plus the difference between the y coordinates and uh, using the cosine rule we could say p1 p2 p1 p2 squared is op1 squared plus op2 squared minus 2 times op1 times op2 times cos alpha minus beta and equating so this was using the distance formula we got this form and using the cosine rule we got this form so we created this and this uh, result 1 and result 2 and we got that cos alpha minus beta is cos alpha cos beta plus sine alpha sine beta and using the same we proved cos alpha plus beta is cos alpha minus negative beta and we proved that it is cos alpha cos beta minus sine alpha sine beta so as if you want to remember when it is cos alpha minus beta you have plus bit in between them and if it is alpha plus beta you have a minus there so using again the same rule so if I can copy this so let me copy this uh, copy and let me paste it here okay so this was the cosine rule uh, the, uh, not the cosine rule sorry this is the compound angle formula for cos a uh, minus b so can we use this again to prove for sine a alpha so let us take sine alpha plus beta so sine alpha plus beta can be written as same as cos uh, pi by 2 minus alpha plus beta I hope you know this rule that uh, let me write the rule again this is pretty easy that uh, sine alpha is cos pi by 2 minus alpha the same way you can also say for cos alpha cos alpha is sine pi by 2 minus alpha so let me do give you an example suppose if you do uh, sine 30 uh, is half and if you do cos 60 because why did I do cos 60 pi by 2 is 90 so 90 minus 30 alpha I'm taking as 30 if you take alpha as 30 pi by 2 minus alpha will be 60 so let me do it again sine 30 is half and cos 60 is also half okay so if you take sine 10 should be equal to cos 80 okay same way if you take say cos cos say 40 is equal to sine 50 okay so they are both same okay because 40 plus this is how you can remember these two are complementary okay so sine this is how you can remember sine of an angle is equal to cos the complementary of uh, the uh, complementary of cos okay and uh, cos of an angle is equal to the complementary of sine okay so sine alpha plus beta is same as cos pi by 2 which is 90 minus uh, alpha plus beta okay so let me change color so this is equal to cos uh, can I write this as pi by 2 minus alpha minus beta so we can use now this formula of cos alpha minus beta so using this formula I can say this is equal to uh, let me delete this so this is equal to cos pi by 2 minus alpha cross beta plus sine 
pi by 2 minus alpha sine beta. So cos pi by 2 minus alpha is nothing but sine alpha cos beta and sine pi by 2 minus alpha is cos alpha cos alpha sine beta. So this is for sine alpha plus beta. So sine alpha plus beta is sine alpha cos beta plus cos alpha sine beta. So let us use this to prove sine alpha minus beta. So sine alpha minus beta can be written as sine of alpha plus negative beta. So using this rule, I can say this is sine alpha cos negative beta plus cos alpha sine negative beta. Now in the previous video, if you remember, I showed you that sine alpha a cos negative beta is cos beta and sine negative beta is minus sine beta. I showed you the, uh, where was the, yeah. Uh, I showed you the graph, I hope so. Okay, if I can find it, it was somewhere. Yeah, so this was the, if you remember, I sh told you that sine graph it, this is a cosine graph. Cosine is symmetrical over y-axis. So a negative cos negative alpha is cos alpha and sine negative alpha is minus sine alpha. So let me find. Uh, so this is equal to, this is equal to, this will become cos negative beta is cos beta. So this is sine alpha cos beta. And this minus will change this plus to minus, minus cos alpha sine beta. So this is your sine alpha minus beta. So, so sine alpha minus beta is sine alpha cos beta minus cos alpha sine beta and sine alpha plus beta is sine alpha cos beta plus cos alpha sine beta. So if you look at these two forms, uh, the only difference is this in plus. So if it is plus here, you put a plus there. And if it's a minus here, you put a minus. In the next video, I will prove for tan alpha plus beta and tan alpha minus.